The Upwink project is a project of international partners from industry and from research, getting together to increase aircraft efficiency. The thing that we're especially looking at is the wing, and we'd like to make the wing lighter and more efficient. Now, ultra performance means that we are increasing the efficiency of the wing. That means we fly the same, so let's say it's a distance, with the same number of passengers, but we use less fuel. We decided to develop two types of configurations because one is for the so-called sustainable aviation fuel, where the fuel is still inside the wing. And the other one is for the hydrogen configuration, where the hydrogen will be stored in liquid form in the fuel sludge. That means we said, okay, we have total different conditions. We can say, we, we, we don't have this fuel tank inside the wing. We are open for new aer aerodynamic shapes. We are open for new structural design shapes. We are open for new integration of high lift devices. We said, okay, what are the benefits? What are the risks? What are the drawbacks? We have to learn this. The main benefit of, the, of a high aspect ratio wing is that the drag is reduced, the aerodynamic drag. Reducing induced drag means that we need to increase the aspect ratio, increase the span, while we are reducing the cord, keeping the same area. So this wing has the same area and is going to be able to equilibrate the same weight, but producing less drag. At the same time, the wing has to be lighter. Um, to become lighter, we have to decrease the loads that are acting on the wing. So if we're flying into a region with turbulence, it will cause vibrations. This is one thing. The other thing is that the loads distributed over the wing. So we will have a larger moment applied on the wing root. And this moment is an important aspect for designing the structure of the wing. The objective is to mature technologies so that the airplanes entering into service by 2050, uh, we will have like 70% of the airplanes already flying with this kind of technology. And the reduction in, on the climate impact is gonna be immense. So we take the different technologies and put those technologies into two different wings. One is the ultra-performing wing for sustainable air fuels. We're talking about an efficiency increase about 10 to 13 percent. The driving concept for hydrogen power, um, we're expecting a bit more like up to 70 percent of energy efficiency increase. 10 to 13 percent increase means we are 10 to 13 percent better than the state of the art today's aircraft in terms of fuel burn. I hope that uh, at least most of the technologies we are looking at at the moment will mature and tend to understand also what is the impact and the benefit on the aircraft level to be able to put them later on on the real aircraft to fly them in phase two. That's great. Clean aviation um, is a brilliant idea because it really brings in all the specialists and that allows you to push technology in a shorter time to a higher uh, level than uh, if you do it just standalone by each part of itself. So that is clean aviation is really where you get all the different uh, bits and pieces, let's say the best of the best together um, to push technology ahead. Well, I'm strongly in favor of reducing the environmental impact of air traffic. I also feel that air traffic itself is part of our society and will remain part of our society. So that's why I think a project like this one here and a program like this one, like clean aviation, is in the interest of society and improving aircraft efficiency is in the interest of society. And that's why we should do it.